The main goals of the UK authorities right now are to restore full employment, to lower inflation and to cut debt levels. The current policy stance, which is one of cutting the deficit and keeping interest rates low, are the right policies to achieve these goals. With this policy mix, we see sterling remaining competitive, which will help promote exports and investment, which are vital to get growth going again. In the medium term, we expect growth to come to about 2.5% per year, but getting there, it could well be sluggish and bumpy. The significant risks to employment, to inflation and also to growth. These risks arise because of uncertainty surrounding sovereign turmoil in parts of the Eurozone, from uh, headwinds from fiscal policy, also the housing market and commodity prices remain volatile. Policies will have to be flexible to respond to shocks. The UK's financial sector is on the mend. Continued healing of the sector will be essential to encourage growth in the private sector. It's therefore very encouraging that banks built their capital buffers over the last year. As we go forward, we need to keep in mind that the process is not yet complete and there are still vulnerabilities. Therefore, banks and other financial institutions will need to continue to build cushions so that they can absorb potential shocks. Supervision will also need to be improved and that process is already in train. Finally, the UK's financial system is interconnected with the financial systems elsewhere in the world and hence strong international cooperation is going to be essential to ensure financial stability in the UK.